Okay, so we look at Wake Up Dead Megadeth from the Peace Cells album. Right, so the tuning for this is E standard, but on the recording it's a little lower than E, and I think that's because of technical um, obsoleteness at that time. I don't know whatever happened, but yeah, it's a bit lower than E standard on the recording. So if you want to play along with the recording, you have to tune down a little bit below E standard, okay? But not to E flat, but a little bit below E only. So we're gonna open with this riff. If you take it slower, okay. So basically, that's the same figure. We're gonna repeat a few times. Start with the F sharp power chord, three strokes down, up, down, and then up stroke on open E, and then down on F sharp again. So, and then you hit the A power chord. I think they hit it with the downstroke, but yeah. So I have this little figure here, right? And at the end of that long chord, do like a quick chuck and stop playing, kind of, right? And then you repeat the whole riff again. But you're gonna end it on the C, third fret, power chord, and then on D, in the next round of that riff. And then the final round you can end on E power chord here, but you, you're only gonna hold it for like one beat. And then you're gonna slide down from like 8th fret, roughly 8th, 9th fret from E down, okay? So, I don't know so. Right? And then you back to the old riff again. But then you're gonna end it on F power chord here. And there is no chuck after that final chord, right? So. And then you repeat the whole thing uh, another three times. So altogether you play this riff four times. So you played it twice in the verse, right here on the first slide. And then you played it twice here on the slide two for the first guitar solo. And then at the ending of that, um, at the end of that fourth time, you will play palm muted one and open E, okay? Instead of instead of going back to the riff again. So you just gonna end it on this. And right after that, uh, you're gonna come here to slide three. You're gonna have this riff that you play four times, right? And it's kind of straightforward, so. So four times on that, after the fourth time, um, after that final slide here, you're gonna play this uh, uh, pattern again, but two frets lower, so. That, like that, right? So again, four times on that first riff, and then end on this. And then after that, you're gonna start a new riff which goes and starts on the C power chord and you're gonna slide down or play descending three power chords, right? So, and then you play the rest of the riff in the second line, which goes like this. Right, and they repeat that uh, riff like four times all together. So um, uh, I guess I can play the whole thing. Like, Now 
Now on slide 4, you're gonna play the surf again, but you're gonna end with this kind of freaky uh, spider chord, uh, like this. That you're gonna add to the end of that riff, so to speak. So, um, the whole thing... Okay, so uh, at the end of the second line, it, there's this kind of kind of a weird ending. It's kind of hard to hear exactly what they play, but I think it's something like, like this. Anyway, uh, we get there in a while. Uh, so the spider chord here that you play like this, it's kind of a tricky one if you are not used to it. But basically, start on this EPO chord right here. Uh, so look at the end of the first line, basically, on the final bar. 7th fret power chord, with those two fingers, so you have to use those two. And then the next power chord will be the C power chord, but you're gonna use the other two fingers to play it. Okay, so you have like, going, you have a little motion like this, right, from here to here. Like this. And then after that C power chord, uh, go to the 6th fret power chord on A and play the sending 3 power chords. And then do the spider again, onto the E. And then play 3 descending power chords starting on 1 fret lower. And then you're back to the beginning of that old riff, okay? So. And then the rest of the riff again. Um, and then for the very ending, after four times of that riff, of that whole riff, once you get to this point here, uh, you're gonna play something like this. And that's the final bar in the second line, okay? Alright, then after that, you come here to the second guitar solo, slide five. So a bit slower, and actually the first two bars um, you play those first two bars uh, four times basically, okay. But the final time, the fourth time, uh, instead of instead of that, you're gonna play this right in the final bar, uh, and note that there's like a short break in the middle of the second bar, like right after the D chord. But otherwise try to connect all those other chords without any breaks if you can. It's kind of tricky maybe when you have to jump between the string sets, but uh, yeah, you have to try. Um, uh, right, and then slide 6. Okay, so we're gonna have this riff now, and uh, if you pick it up slower, okay, so it's gonna be like this. Um, uh, let's see, at the end of the third bar in the first line, you have this inverted power chord on the ninth fret on D and G, right? Which I think is best to play with the pinky if you can, um, otherwise use your ring finger if you think it's too hard. Um, but you know, you should try to challenge yourself and you know, try to play this chord like this. And uh, it's a pain in the butt if you haven't 
done that kind of stuff before. You have to push down quite a lot with your pinky on the fretboard to hold that chord, but that's how they play it, right? Um, otherwise, uh, that would be it. And the uh, second line, um, we can do those fast riffs. Right? So, um, yeah, that'll be uh, yeah that'll be it for this uh, part, and then here on the side seven, this fast riffing continues, but now on the second fret on E. So I hope we didn't screw up anything, but if you take it slower... Okay, so obviously the most uh, difficult part here is this third bar, uh, but uh, if you break it down, it's a lot of legato here, so it's not maybe as difficult as it sounds, maybe, uh, but you still have to practice that a, a little bit. Uh, but you're gonna do a uh, start with the downstroke on the fourth fret on D, pull off to the second fret, and then do upstroke on the fourth fret on A, and pull off to the second fret. Okay, so like this. And then basically follow this down and upstroke pattern. Uh, throughout the other beats as well. Um, it's gonna be a little different with the timing. So in the next beat you're gonna start on the second fret on D, down stroke, and then upstroke on the fourth fret on A and pull off to three and two. Okay, so like this. And then in the third beat start on the fourth fret on A, down stroke and pull off to three and two, and then hit fifth on E with the up stroke. Like this, okay, so and then again the same pattern with the right hand, start with the down stroke on A, second fret, hammer on to third, pull off to second, and then end on fifth fret on E with an up stroke. Okay, so it's down, up, down, up, down, up, and then down, up. Okay, so... <laughs> and then the third bar... It's uh, kind of straightforward, right? Uh, I think he adds some kind of... pinch harmonics, like here and there, so you can experiment with that a little bit if you want. Alright, so three times for that riff. Then we go to another verse riff, or like the final verse, and uh, here on slide 8. Okay, so um, a bit slower, so it's not maybe the toughest riff they have, but it's kind of tricky with all those jumping around of the bow chords. So I'm gonna have... This. And yeah, you might notice that sometimes I play the power chords like this and sometimes like that. Uh, I mean, it's just me. I I don't really... Uh, yeah, I don't know what, what to say. <laughs> if you want to do exactly as Dave does, maybe watch some of his videos. Uh, I think he has you. I don't know. Uh, yeah. I don't know if he has any preference or not, but... Um, anyway. One little thing about this riff, in the fourth part, in the first line, you can try to do spider chord if you want here, but you don't have to, but basically um, once you get to the fifth fret, power chord on A, if you, if you play it like this, and then you play the fourth fret, power chord on E like this, and then you play the D chord again with the other two fingers, you have this spider going on. 
but I mean, you don't have to. I guess I can play like this. Or, uh, but again, you know, try to whenever you switch those power chords, uh, except for the third bar, uh, try to connect them as seamlessly as possible. Okay, without too much uh, air between them. Uh, I know it's tough, but try to do that. Uh, uh, the only uh, exception here is in the third bar you have this short breaks between those three power chords. Um, and second bar in the second line also we have... Uh, right, then the end of the second line leads us to the next riff right here on the side 9, and that's typically the outro riff. Yeah, and they played it just riff seven times, I'm pretty much, I think. Um, the final time they played this riff, they went on like a very short D chord instead of the long one. Okay, so it's like... Like this. And that's the only difference. Um, the tricky part here, I believe, is gonna be this. So you have like a quick four times on the fifth fret on A. Then you have seven on E. And then it's hammer on for five to seven on A. I kind of like to play like this, so down, up, down, up, quickly. And then I hit the 7 on E with an upstroke, actually. Um, I think it's easier, but you can hit it with a downstroke if you prefer. And then it's downstroke on 5 on A and then hammer on to 7. So... Right? Like this. So that's it, wake up dead, I mean, have fun with that guys.